Welcome to Tech Learners. In today's lesson, we will talk about ISBN number. Write a program to accept a number and check and display whether it is ISBN number or not. ISBN number is a 10 digit number for which this condition is true. That means if we'll multiply digit 1 with 1, digit 2 with 2, digit 3 with 3 and so on till digit 10 with digit 10 and finally if we will sum all these then the resulting should be divisible by 11 that means if we will divide the result by 11 then there should be no remainder or zero remainder let me recall what is ISBN number it is a number when which whose digits are multiplied by its own place that means first digit is multiplied with one second digit is multiplied with two third digit is multiplied with three and so on till tenth digit is multiplied by ten then all these are summed together the resultant should be divisible by eleven if it is so then the number is known as the ISBN number. Let's see an example. For example, 1401601499. It is a 10 digit number. So we'll take out the digits. So first digit is 1. So we'll multiply 1 with 1. Second digit is 4. So we'll multiply second digit with 4. Third digit is 0. So we'll multiply this 0 with 3. Fourth digit is 1. So we'll multiply it with 4 and so on till 10th digit which is 9 here will be multiplied with 10 and we'll perform the sum of all these the resultant is 253 now we'll check whether this 253 is divisible by 11 or not yes it is divisible by 11 and it will leave no remainder or 0 as a remainder hence this 10 digit number 1401601499 is an ISBN number. Now let's talk about the logic. We'll input the number and we'll ask the user to input a 10 digit number. We can also use a validation or a check for a 10 digit number. Then we'll extract the digits of the number. Then we'll find the sum of sum of what? Sum of the product of the position of the digit with digits itself then we will finally check the sum whether this sum is divisible by 11 or not and then respectively we will display the result so now let's check the program of the ISBN number so uh, in the ISBN number we will accept the number from the user to accept the number we will use the scanner class we will create the object of a scanner class and we'll import the java.util.scanner to access the scanner class in our program and we'll print a message to the user please enter a number uh, we can modify this please enter a 10 digit number 10 digit number right and we'll accept the number from the user using next int method of the scanner class we will store it into num we use a temporary variable to store that number into that temporary variable then we'll use a sum variable to store the sum we use a digit variable to store the digits of that particular number we have initialized another variable i as a counter that is equal to 10 so that will let us know till when we have to execute the loop while num is not equal to 0, we will extract the digits num mod 10. So this will give you the remainder of the digit and the last digit you will get just by performing the mod operation with the 10. So like in this case, we have uh, 1401601499. So just by performing it mod 10, we will receive 9 as the remainder and this 9 will be stored into this digit variable then we will multiply this digit variable with i that means the position of the digit that is why we have initialized i with 10 because 
we are going to get the right most digit first and this is at 10th place so we need to multiply this right most digit 9 with its position that is 10 so now we will multiply this with 10 so digit multiply i that is 10 and we will sum we will store the sum into the sum variable right uh, the next is we will uh, divide the number by 10 and just by dividing the number by 10 it will reduce from 10 digit to 9 digit storing only the quotient so now the number will have this number 1401601149 okay so and we'll uh, decrease the variable i by 1 so now the 10 will be decreased to 9 and the loop will continue this time we'll have a 9 digit number from which we'll fetch the rightmost digit again and this time the rightmost digit will be this 9 and the position of this digit will be 9 so we'll have a 9 into this digit will be multiplied by 9 its position and it will be added to the previous sum in this way the process will go on we we'll keep decreasing the position extra keep extracting the digits from the number and will multiply the digit with its position and the sum is added into the previous sum so this loop will continue till num will become zero so finally we have this sum variable where the final sum will be stored now we need to check whether this sum is divisible by 11 or not so we'll perform a mod operation with 11 and we'll check for the remainder whether it is equal to 0 or not if it is 0 then we'll simply print out the message that it is an ISBN number else we can print the message that it is not an ISBN number so now let's compile the program execute the program and see the output of the program so please enter a 10 digit number so let me take the 10 digit number 1401601499 so if i am taking this number and let me put the enter right it is an isbn number you can see i have used the print command to uh, have all the printing statements here so this is an isbn number and if i try some other number any random number let me say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 1 or 2 so you can see this is not an ISBN number so this is how we can check whether a given number is ISBN number or not I hope you have understood the logic behind the program and uh, remember this is an important step used in most of the programs related with the numbers and digits uh, we need to extract the digits and perform some operations uh, thanks a lot for the watching video like the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos